Welcome to the Living in Bowling Green, Kentucky channel. I'm Brad Petty with the EXP Realty, and today is the part four of a four part series of what the heck can I find in Bowling Green, Kentucky and the surrounding areas for the $300,000 price range? Well, today we're going to cover the final three neighborhoods of 11. We've already covered what's that eight video uh, eight neighborhoods so far so the final three are on tap for today and we're just going to jump on a map i'm going to show you where these are because they are not even close together so and i'm just going to show you where they are because it may not be as easy access as you might think but uh we're going to cover that too so we're going to get on it right now all right the first neighborhood we're going to cover today is windsor trace farms and it's right here and it's not easy access where we're going to be going today there's only one that might have decent access or easy access but we're going to cover them it may bother you it may not but i just want to show you uh windsor trace is right here but you say it's right by the parkway but you go over the parkway and you can see there's there is no access here and the way to get to it would be down Elrod Road to Small House. Now there's various different ways to get, you know, to Scottsville Road area. If that's where you're going, you just hop up here, go down Elrod and you zip around over to Small House Road and over to Three Springs Road. And, and then you can come right back up. We covered this in, uh, I think, video number two. It might have been video number one, part part one of this and this here's that intersection i was telling you about that gets a little hectic but there it puts you on path to where you want to go that way uh so if you're not worried about easy access to the main drag so to speak scottsville road this could be a good uh little area for you uh these homes were built starting in 20 let's see 2019 to 2023 relatively new homes here so if that's a you know plus for you you know it might be an area for you to check out so what we're going to do we're just going to jump on a uh, we're going to get in the car and we're just going to make a quick drive through here to kind of give you an idea of what this little neighborhood is all about homes in windsor trace farms were built between 2019 and 2023 Home sizes range between 1,451 square feet to just over 3,400 square feet of living space. The lot sizes here are nearly a quarter acre. Over the past year, homes here were sold with a medium price of $377,000. These homes were sold with prices ranging from $320,000 to $437,000. Currently, there are two active listings with a median list price of $354,900. These homes range in price of $339,900 to $369,900. The schools that serve this area are Jody Richards Elementary School, South Warren Middle School, and South Warren High School. That was Windsor Trace Farms, and that was I'm going to show you on the map where we're going next. We're going to be going to uh, South Oaks. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my map here because I want to show you. I want to show you where we were and where we're actually where we're going. So where we were 
for uh, the Windsor Trace was right over here. It's Windsor Trace Farms. Now where we're going next is all the way over here to South Oaks. And as you can see, this is off of Nashville Road, which be really easy access to about anywhere you want to go. Uh, right out in this area is a lot of industry. So, you know, if you're moving here because of work or something, or you, you know, you want to, maybe if you want to check out working in one of these industries, it's right down the road, uh, easy access right up Nashville road. You can get on and off the parkway right here, or you can take it right on in to Campbell lane. And this takes it all the way over to Scottsville road. So it's really easy access. However, the traffic gets a little bunched up here on, you know, on Campbell Lane. Uh, but it's really not that bad. I say it's not bad. Some be people just absolutely hate it. But then, but then again, they hate getting out of their own house. So <laughs> that, that's my take on it. But you can see it's easy access. Even if you want to like zip on down, down Nashville Road down through Woodburn, which is another highly rated area, according to niche.com to live. And you can get on right down into Franklin, Kentucky. You know, if you want to, that's another beautiful small town down there, which we may cover that in upcoming videos. And that puts us right here at the Tennessee, Kentucky line. So it's just really easy uh, access, really. Not too bad of an area, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna, Go check this out and you're gonna see as you can see on this map here that it looks like there's a lot of vacant properties well they are really uh, uh, they've really been doing a lot of building since this since this map update and you're gonna see a lot of construction going on so there's a lot of brand new houses going on so we're gonna take uh, we're just gonna jump in the car and take a ride through here Homes in South Oaks were built between 2020 to present day. Home sizes ranged between 1,353 to 2,500 square feet of living space. Lot sizes in South Oaks are mainly quarter acre lots. Over the past year, homes here were sold with a median price of $305,000. Those homes had a price range of $252,450 to $353,500. Currently, there are two active listings with a median price of $337,945. These homes have a list price of $334,900 and $345,900. These homes feature 1,691 square feet of living space and 2,563 feet of living space. The schools that serve this area are Rich Pond Elementary School, South Warren Middle School, and South Warren High School. All right, that was South Oaks, but what I want to do, I want to show you some things that I forgot to show you while we were in there earlier. Uh, right here is uh, South Oaks. We were just in that subdivision, but right over here is South Warren Middle School. It seems to be the most desired school system, the school district in the area, or one of the top ones anyway. Uh, a lot of people come here, uh, they move in this area just to get into this school here. 
Uh, as you can see, also right up the road is a Woodburn Fire Station number two. And you can see in relation right here, you know, if you have any trouble here, you got a fire department right here. Yes, it's a volunteer fire department. However, you know, there is a, a fire department right there for you. Uh, so just wanted to throw that in there just to give you an idea how close you are really, you know, to this school here. And Cheney's Dairy Farm, you can look that up. They do a lot of great, uh, a lot of neat things there. Uh, Michael O. Uh, Buchanan Park. So there's some things here that you can check out, uh, give you an idea of things, you know, you can do a little research on your own, kind of uh, fill in some of your own blanks and that'd be cool. So uh, just, so what do you think guys? Do you like this kind of content? Let me know, drop a comment or go ahead and contact us. Our info's in the link below the video here. Uh, but one thing I would like for you to do because it helps everybody out and that would be subscribe and like the video and hit that notification bell. We would appreciate it. <laughs> so what we're going to do next is we're going to go right on up. Let's see if I can find it here. It's going to be on the back side of all of this uh, industry here. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it's right, right here. And that's going to be uh, spring water. Uh, we're going to run through spring water uh, subdivision or neighborhood. And as you can see, you can get little back roads here. You can get right on over. If you're looking at industry in this area, just hit Southern Parkway and zip right on over. Uh, it also looks like up in this area, maybe a new subdivision coming soon or an extension. So it might be something to keep an eye on. Uh, as far as anything like down here, you're getting more close to access to not, not the downtown area, but as far as amenities. So right there's the, uh, the parkway, you, go, you zip under it, hit Russell Road, right on up here. So, and you're starting to get into everything here. So what we're gonna do, so we're just gonna jump in the car and head on over to Springwater. Welcome to the Springwater neighborhood. Homes here were built between 2016 and 2022. Home sizes range between 1,338 square feet to 2,590 square feet. The lot sizes in Springwater are mostly quarter acre lots. Over the past two years, homes in Springwater were sold with a median price of $310,000. These homes had a price range of $255,500 and $375,000. Currently, there are two active listings with a median list price of $324,450. These homes range in price between $289,900 and $359,000. These schools that serve this area are Rockfield Elementary, South Warren Middle, and South Warren High School. That was uh, the Springwater subdivision, and that wraps up 11 different neighborhoods in the $300,000 price range. Let us know what you thought of it so we can make improvements so we know what you guys are wanting to see. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment or contact us. Uh, either way you want to do it, it'll be just fine. But uh, I'm not sure which video is going to come up next. We're going to work on a few different things. And until then, we'll see you later. That was the spring water and that wraps up 11 different subdivisions in the Bowling Green Warren County area 
of a $300,000 price range. So let us know what you thought of this. If there's anything you, you liked, you want to see more of, or you have any questions, uh, go ahead and drop us uh, a comment below or contact us. Our info's in the contact, uh, our contact info's in the description below this video. And until the next video, we'll catch you later.